This is marrying mum and dad. Where you get to organise your parents' wedding. <laughs> You're a real superhero. Yeah. That means you are in charge. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> they're getting married. But they've no idea where or how. I like it. What on earth have we yeah. done? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my baby filled with chaos or confetti. On today's show, we've got two wedding planners already behind the wheel of their mum and stepdad's big day. With the joining of hands, I now pronounce Jacob and Taya officially 100% in charge. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be going full throttle to create a high-octane ride for the happy couple. But could it all be too much for the bride and groom? Oh, my goodness! <laughs> and will the wedding end up taking first prize on the podium? <laughs> or go spinning out of control? We're about to find out. Because we're marrying Mum and Dad. <laughs> Dad, the only show that puts kids in the driving seat and lets them organise their parents' wedding. That's right. You guys are in control. The decisions rest in your hands. No pressure, then. But our wedding planners won't be driving solo. Oh, no, they won't. We are here to help keep them on track. Today, we're in Oxfordshire, where we've got two wedding planners getting revved up for action. <laughs> Hi, my name's Tali, and I'm nine years old and I love doing gymnastics and tennis. Oh, he's <laughs> taking the lead! Hi, my name's Jacob and I'm 12 and I love doing football and tennis. <laughs> <laughs> the kids have already been busy planning the big day and have given the green light to an idea that will make their parents wedding day winners. Our theme for the wedding is motorsport. Motorsport. What he said. <laughs> Motorsport is all about fast wheels, exciting races and seriously cool drivers. In this game, speed rules. A modern Formula One car can easily top over 200 miles per hour. It looks like this should be one quick wedding, especially as there are just two weeks to organise everything. So, we have our theme, motor racing. I'm wheelie, wheelie excited about this wedding. Oh, wheelie, Ed. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> At home, the kids have set the wedding wheels in motion. They've been busy planning transport, outfits, some entertainment, a place to hold it, even a cake. They think their choice of theme might be perfect for Mum Debbie and stepdad Mark, who they say are both crazy about cars. Mum's been interested in racing ever since Mark came. The racing just got to her. Oh, it would be a big, fun, active family wedding and it would just be amazing. Coming through! Yes, fifth place. Oh, no. Let's hope the kids are right. The big day they're planning is a world away from any traditional wedding. So far, though, Mum and Mark don't seem too worried about not knowing what the kids are up to. It's not going to phase us. I don't think that the kids are going to have control of our wedding, is it? No, it's not. Hang on, these parents sound more laid back than usual. If they get it wrong, they'll be grounded forever. <laughs> oh, OK, that's a bit more like it. Put me on his back. The pressure's on. Jacob and Talia will need to ace this race, or it sounds like they'll be spending time in the pit lane. Nothing can stop us, literally. We're just going for it, no matter what. This. The kids have big plans on where to hold this car-crazy wedding. We could have it in the middle of... Silverstone Racetrack. That and then, awesome. um... Jacob and Talia are dreaming big and want to book legendary racetrack Silverstone, the headquarters of British motorsport. So, already with their foot on the gas, they're calling the track to see if the dream can become a reality. We were hoping if Silverstone was available a week on Saturday for our parents' wedding. Yes, time really is speeding by, and these wedding planners still have to book everything. 
We are available all day on that Saturday. Can we come and have a look at it tomorrow, if possible? That's absolutely perfect with me. Fast forward to the next day and the kids are receiving the full-on VIP treatment at the fastest place in the UK. Look at this. Whoa! Silverstone is where the British Grand Prix takes place, one of the fastest races on four wheels in the world. This is the actual podium. Lewis Hamilton has stood on top of this. Cool, I'm up here. UK racing legends like Lewis Hamilton, Damon Hill and David Coulthard have all stood victorious on the famous winner's podium here. <laughs> if Jacob and Talia can book this place to hold the wedding, Mum and Mark will definitely feel like champions. And that will be a great way for the kids to say thanks to two terrific parents. My mum is always there. She keeps us safe, no matter what. <laughs> She's just amazing and friendly and all that stuff. Mum sounds great. How about stepdad Mark? I would describe Mark as funny, full of ideas, overall just amazing. When they get married, it means we've got like a family bond. I think we're very close. They've actually said they can't wait for him to be their proper stepdad. Back at the track, Christine, who works here, wants the kids to see the actual room where they could hold the wedding. Have we got all this? You have, yeah. It's massive! <laughs> it's very big and also very empty. This is crazy. The question is, how can Jacob and Talia bring the motor racing theme inside as well as outside? We can have, like, checkered flags hanging from the walls. Classic. Um, a podium. We have a podium. That'd be good. That'd be great for the wedding photos, wouldn't it? It would be a real challenge to decorate a room this large, but it sounds like the kids are ready to take it on. Just as well. It's the best view in the house, this. Because with action on the track like this, it has to be our venue. This is so cool! Legendary racetrack booked. With such a great venue for the wedding, Jacob and Talia now want equally awesome transport to match. To kickstart their search, we've come to a driving centre so the kids can get a proper taste of what being behind the wheel is really all about. So, nine-year-old Talia here is being taken for a little bit of a drive. Nothing unusual about that. What is unusual is that the driver is going to be her 12-year-old brother, Jacob. You probably crash the car. <laughs> <laughs> crash the car? Let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Fortunately, there is a professional standing by to help Jacob learn the ropes. And there's the key for us. Yeah, let's come and park and break. And it's not long before he's off the starting green. Oh, he's off. Oh, oh he's there we go. There we go. Great job. He's 12 and he's driving a car. Yep, it is pretty cool that Jacob is cruising around this track. But let's be honest, if the kids are planning some genuine racing wheels, we're in need of speed. And how is that? Very good. Are you planning on driving your mum and Mark to the wedding? I think it will be a bit slow. <laughs> Do you think we might need something a little bit faster? Mm-hmm. That's where this guy comes in. He may look a bit mysterious, but that's because he's dressed for his job. He's a pro driver and he's looking for a couple of passengers. So, who fancies getting a lift with this guy? <laughs> now, this is more like it. Mr White here is flying around the track with the kids at speeds of over 100 miles per hour. Good job he's highly trained to control this car. If Mum and Mark are feeling nervous on their big day, then we're not sure travelling this quickly will help them too much. It's getting so fast out of the corners. The tires are getting... <laughs> this daredevil has even got time to throw in a few cool skids for good measure. Let's hope Mum and Mark don't need sick bags. That was so amazing! <laughs> Can we do that again? <laughs> what was your top speed? Uh, 110. <gasps> what? Oh. Would you like Mum and Dad to experience something like this? Yes! But is a lightning-fast driver behind the wheel of a mega-quick car really likely to go down well on the big day? Mark is really into Formula One. It's been his dream to, like, sit in an actual race car. Well, Mark should be happy at least. Not sure about Mum, though. 
lots of options to transport here. Back on the hunt for a super fast car, we've returned to Silverstone to check out a set of wheels that might just be perfect. This is awesome. Well, apparently, this is the closest you can get to a Formula One car without it actually being one that you can fit two people in. Cool. A quick spin in this thing, though, really is quick. It hits speeds of 150 miles per hour, not for the faint-hearted. Being driven in one of these is a pretty extreme experience. They might feel quite travel sick. Is this how you want to arrive at their wedding ceremony? Yes, it is. Have people been sick in these before? Maybe. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. So, Mum might be turned to a wedding ceremony with sickle down. Huh? It, it, yes. Uh, the kids don't seem too worried, though. I reckon that's transport complete, don't you think? Yeah. I think you're right. Cha-ching. <laughs> wedding wheels sorted. Next up, time to let the break off the cake. For the wedding cake, the kids have something in mind that should let Mum and Mark know that they're definitely number one in their eyes. An idea for the cake would be like having Mum and Mark on a podium together. I think that's a good idea. To get started on their winner's podium cake design, Jacob and Talia have brought their plans to Leslie, a cake maker. OK, guys, what flavour cake are we going to make? Chocolate sponge, please. Chocolate sponge. <laughs> <laughs> it's not long before we're baking. Oh, wow, this is going to be really chocolatey. And messing around. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly messing around. <laughs> Let's get him, he hasn't got anything. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got a cake mix in your hair. <laughs> With the cake eventually going in the oven, it's time to start on the icing decorations. Just when it's starting to look good, Jacob and Talia decide to throw me the tire-tastic twist that will truly set this cake apart. For the cake entrance, we're going to drive in a remote control car. Are we? And then going to put the cake on top of it, and we're going to drive the car. OK. This, we better <laughs> practice this then, yes. don't we? Yeah. We better practice it with jelly. I'm not completely convinced that risking the wedding cake in this way on the big day is a good idea. Traffic cones. So I'm setting up an obstacle course to see if it can work. Now let's see how you do with the jelly! <laughs> and I suppose if they can operate a remote-controlled car with a jelly on top of it, then a wedding cake should be a doddle. This is good disposed well for the wedding. I did it! Brilliant! All the way, All around. way around! So far, so good. Until I decide to take the challenge up another level. Who wants to try a jelly on a jelly? Jelly! Yeah. <laughs> jelly. Whoa! Oh, I've never seen so much jelly! Oh. It turns out that's not such a great idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, what's going on? Ah! Oh. Oh, jelly everywhere! <laughs> so, guys, what do you think we've learned from this? Um, jelly. Don't put a jelly on top of jelly! <laughs> <laughs> I think we have learned, though, that we can drive this cake in. Yes. Yeah, we have learned. Hi, bye. Cake sorted. I'll tell you what, this uh. kitchen's sorted. Sorted. But there's a definite risk of a cake catastrophe on the big day. <laughs> Jacob and Talia are halfway through their plans for Mum and Mark's motorsport-themed wedding. So far, they've booked the most famous racetrack in the UK as the venue. This is so cool. And they've arranged for the happy couple to do a lap of the course at super fast speed. Have people been sick in these before? Maybe. <laughs> but all this secretive planning has got Mum wondering just what Jacob and Talia are up to. Can we trust our children? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? Yeah, we will. Well, Mum and Mark, you'll find out fast enough. Like 150 miles per hour of fast. Fit inspiration, we've come to the headquarters of the Lotus Formula One team. That is a selection of some trophies, my goodness. In a place where racing rules, the kids soon spot the sort of cool clothes they want for the wedding. We can get loads of these, apparently. Aha! Uh -huh. So you can imagine something like this. Overalls? For a once-in-a-lifetime wedding? That might suit racing, but this big day is a wedding too. Let's see Lewis Hamilton turn up to a race like this, do you? <laughs> Jacob and Talia will need to think fast to work out how they can turn one of these things into something a bride can wear. Yes, look at that. 
It's time to take it to the next level and bring in an expert. Hilary is a Hollywood costume designer, so she is in pole position to help with Mum's motorsport wedding dress. What's the plan, then? Mum could have um, a skirt come in here um, with a belt to attach it and yeah. a veil. And whatever length you like. Once Talia has passed on her big ideas, Hilary begins to race ahead with the design. Maybe we make this, this middle part a belt and then maybe from there we have a skirt that comes out so you still see her legs. Yeah. How long do you want it to How be? How long do you want skirt? it to be? Quite long. Quite long? Because then it's Meter like room. a proper wedding dress. Like it's a proper wedding dress. So Mum's dress is coming together, but no wannabe racing driver would be complete without one vital piece of kit even if it is their wedding day. Are you going to make Mum wear one of those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Outfit sorted, and another step closer to this wedding's starting line. For the entertainment on the big day, Jacob and Talia want to go large. We could, like, do who could do the quickest lap round Silverstone Trap. The kids want the newlyweds to take part in a real race after the wedding. It's an ambitious plan but their tour of Silverstone's fast cars earlier has given them an idea. They think that the track might have something that could work. So we've gone back to the pit lane garage to see if Christine can help out. What if Mum and Dad could drive one of these themselves? What would you think? That sounds yeah. amazing. Very good? Amazing. This is the closest thing we have to an actual race car here at Silverstone. Wow. Your mum and Mark will get to about 120 miles an hour. <laughs> These racing cars are for serious petrol heads. They can accelerate twice as quickly as an average family car. It looks like Mum and Mark will be taking part in the ultimate parent race-off. Bring it on. So, I reckon that's entertainment sorted then. Yeah? Ticked off? Cha-ching! Brilliant. And high five. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Let's hope Mum and Mark enjoy life in the fast lane. With that last piece of our wedding jigsaw falling into place, Jacob and Talia are almost ready for Mum and Mark's mega motorsport big day. From super speedy transport... Fun yet, Jay? ..to eye-catching outfits. Are going to make Mum wear one of those? <laughs> yeah! The kids have worked flat out to make sure this will be the fastest wedding ever. And at home, Talia has come up with a unique logo to be added to the racing overalls the whole family is set to wear. So there's the finished off logo. You're going to see it when it's a badge, probably across the front of us. But Mum and Mark still have no idea what the kids have got planned. What do you reckon your first feelings might be when you see the wedding? Shock. And your costume? Shock. Um, I just hope it fits. Can I see your shock face? <gasps> Mark, your shock face? <gasps> <laughs> oh, amazing. If Mum is hoping for a traditional wedding, she really will be shocked when she realises she's wearing racing overalls. The wedding day has finally arrived. No more time for practice laps. The big race is now upon us. Before we can get going, though, the kids still have one huge job to do. Look at that! That's the biggest trophy I've ever seen. At the moment, the room where Mum and Mark's ceremony will take place is a large, empty space. And the prize for people running out of time decorating this venue goes to us! Come on, let's yeah. hurry up! While the kids are in a race against the clock, back at home, the bride is getting race ready herself. Meanwhile, the groom is trying to forget his nerves by watching TV. And guess what's on? Mark is in there right now watching the motor racing. He has got no idea. Well, not long now until he finds out. Over at the venue, with everything now in place, it looks as though Jacob and Talia are ready to get this big day started. Who just undid my shoelaces? <laughs> While Ed adds some final touches at Silverstone, the kids have returned home. With all of us in racing outfits, we can't wait to get off the grid. Big step to your right, Mark. That's it. But will this motorsport wedding have Mum and Mark cheering like champions or drive them totally round the bend? OK, Debbie and Mark, are you ready to see what you're wearing for your wedding day? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're going to count down from three. Three, two, one, look! <laughs> <laughs> can you guess what the theme is? 
for racing? Yes! Are you going to racing? Oh, wow! Don't look at you your mean? shoes, Mummy! Oh, you do <laughs> Try to make you look like a bride as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, I think you, you've done a good job. You look good. Come <laughs> here! <laughs> Hug. Now Mum and Mark know the theme of the wedding, it's time to get this unusually dressed bride and groom to their very own racetrack. Guys, this is going to be your ride oh, to the wedding. Nice. Except it isn't really. They may think that this shiny chauffeur-driven car is their transport for the big day, but this is a motorsport wedding and the big surprises are yet to come. They have got no idea what is in store. What they don't know yet is that their actual super-fast wedding day wheels are getting warmed up at the racetrack, ready to give them both the ride of a lifetime. Well, yes, welcome to Silverstone! Yes. <laughs> so what do we think? Excellent. Couldn't be better. It's going well. Time for Ed to join the party in his old-fashioned racing outfit and let the kids reveal Mama Mark's seriously fast transport. Well, what you're going to be doing now is we've arranged for a driver to take you for a very fast lap around this silver so oh, They seem pretty excited right now, but will they be able to handle riding as passengers in a super fast racing car? Mum and Mark are hitting speeds of over 150 miles per hour. Definitely not the usual way a bride and groom would travel to their wedding. Oh my word! Yeah. Yeah. That's the fastest I've ever seen a car drive. That was crazy. They both seem to be taking life in the fast lane in their stride, which is pretty impressive as this car is absolutely flying. How was that? That was unbelievable. Oh my god! Come true. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah, reckon you want to do brilliant. it again anytime soon? I would do it again now. It's that good. Hang on, Mark. There's something a bit more important than that about to happen. Because upstairs, a room full of guests have gathered for the speediest wedding ever. Marrying Mum and Dad style. Debbie, I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. I promise to cherish love and care for you. Mark, may I invite you to give your wife a kiss? <laughs> Mum and Mark have crossed the finish line, but there's no chance of this wedding slowing down just yet. <laughs> Please welcome the newlyweds! That was just brilliant. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing. I mean, yeah. inspired. Before Jacob and Talia's next surprise, we have a little treat of our own to give the whole family. A special wedding day message from racing legend David Coulthard. Well, congratulations to Debbie and Mark. Uh, David Coulthard here. Uh, you're getting married at Silverstone, a place very close to my heart. So I'm very proud to have won there. Uh, wonderful job by Jacob and Talia in organising that. And I hope you have an amazing day and many happy years in the future. Well done. <laughs> Can it get any better? You'll find out soon enough. Really? There's more there's to come? More. Of course there's more. Next up, Talia has to deliver the wedding cake on top of a remote control car. How are you feeling? Scared. It's been a perfect day so far, but could this be the moment it all goes wrong? I'm a bit nervous cos I'm like, will like, I bump it into a table. Fingers crossed, Talia. Time to show what you can do. Come on, come on. Almost there. She's done it. One safely delivered cake. Phew. What did you think of Talia's driving skills? Brilliant. Oh, it's like to see them cut the cake. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and it's not just Mum and Mark who seem to be impressed with what Jacob and Talia have pulled off. Oh! It's really well organised. I'm amazed that Jacob and Talia managed to do all of that by themselves. It's really good. I've never been to a wedding like this. This is my best ever wedding in the world. <laughs> this wedding is so unique, it's been the most marvellous day, and I can't believe that Jacob and Talia have organised it like they have. The wedding's not quite over yet, though. To end their amazing day, our demon drivers still have the ultimate challenge to face. Back out on the track.
Well, we wanted you two to get in a racing car and race against each other, and the person with the fastest time wins a big prize. <laughs> That'll be me then. Okay. You reckon? <laughs> we will see. This is the real deal. Mum and Mark are getting a once-in-a-lifetime chance to compete against each other to see who can do the fastest lap at Silverstone. <laughs> and they're off. Full speed ahead for the Marion Mum and Dad Grand Prix. And full speed ahead too for Ed's vintage style race commentary. And you join us here at Silverstone for Debbie and Mark's wedding race. Woo! Let's go, Mark! Come on! For a speed-loving duo like this, it's a dream come true. But the big question is, who will be the quickest? Mark's driving fast, Debbie's driving fast, they're all driving fast, round and round and round they go. With bride and groom giving it full throttle, let's find out whether this motorsport marriage has been a winning wedding. My favourite part of the day was just watching Mum and Mark go round that track, having the time of their lives. Come on, Mark! It's been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah, to drive a single-seater at Silverstone at full speed has got to be the best thing. Absolutely amazing. And I'm just over the moon. They love the whole theme. And so they're driving around the cart. There's lots of cars driving around at the moment. They're all going in the same direction because it's a race. If one of them going in the wrong direction, they'll be very bad. They've yeah. just done a wonderful job. My cheeks are aching. I've just been laughing and smiling so much. Sounds like a real result. Speaking of which, the chequered flag being waved means our big race is over. But who takes first place on the winner's podium? Debbie? Would you please step up to the second place of the podium? <laughs> because the winner is Mark! Thank you! If we could sum up this day in three words, it would be awesome, amazing, and best day ever. What a fantastic day! Racing round racing circuits, celebrations on podiums, remote control cakes! Ed? Wow, is this your car? Oh, this whole thing? Yeah, yeah, it's mine. Really? Do you need a ride home? Uh, do I ever? Well, you're in luck. Yeah. There's a bus stop over there. Should be a bus in about 15 minutes. See you in a few days. But they've no idea where or how. I like it. I know the we yeah. done. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my baby filled with chaos or confetti. On today's show, we've got two wedding planners already behind the wheel of their mum and stepdad's big day. With the joining of hands, I now pronounce Jacob and Tyre officially 100% in charge. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be going full throttle to create a high-octane ride for the happy couple. But could it all be too much for the bride and groom? Oh, my goodness! <laughs> and will the wedding end up taking first prize on the podium? <laughs> or go spinning out of control? We're about to find out. Because we're marrying Mum and Dad. <laughs> Mum 
and Dad, the only show that puts kids in the driving seat and lets them organise their parents' wedding. That's right. You guys are in control. The decisions rest in your hands. No pressure, then. But our wedding planners won't be driving solo. Oh, no, they won't. We are here to help keep them on track. Today, we're in Oxfordshire, where we've got two wedding planners getting revved up for action. <laughs> Hi, my name's Tali and I'm nine years old and I love doing gymnastics and tennis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh he's taking the lead! Hi, my name's Jacob and I'm 12 and I love doing football and tennis. <laughs> <laughs> the kids have already been busy planning the big day and have given the green light to an idea that will make their parents wedding day winners. Our theme for the wedding is motorsport. Motorsport. What he said. <laughs> motorsport is all about fast wheels, exciting races and seriously cool drivers. In this game, speed rules. A modern Formula One car can easily top over.